Looks like as we've been looking at a nasty day on Wall Street, look at that, the Dow down 225 points and below 7,000 uh, continuously this morning. Uh, looks like this recession is costing us more than money, believe it or not. It's costing us sleep. New poll out today, National Sleep Foundation conducted it, says more than a quarter of Americans are losing sleep over their financial worries. You may not realize it, but it is a big deal for your health. Think you can't do anything about it? You can. Dr. Doug Livernays is a sleep expert with Monmouth, Monmouth Pulmonary Consultants in the state of New Jersey. Uh, Doc, good to see you. Talk about what you, uh, what you saw. What do these numbers tell you in this poll? Oh, this, this has been going on for a while, and it's just getting worse now. You know, sleep deprivation, I believe, is the number one uh, sleep disorder in the country, and stress is the number one cause of it. And now you're seeing more and more stress with this, and it's just going to get worse before it gets better. You know, I'm a, a notorious, terrible sleeper, and whenever I read about what lack of sleep does to your body, I am just continuously amazed at just how bad it is for you. It's, re it's really terrible. It, it causes you to have poor decision-making abilities, stress management, and at a time like this, you need, those, you, you need to be able to do those things. And causes you to gain weight, and then you got other problems when you gain the weight, right? Absolutely. Uh, people who are sleep-deprived, they eat more, and they eat more carbs. So you put on weight, and that can lead to uh, obstructive sleep apnea. All right, so now I'm getting even more depressed that uh, I'm losing money and losing sleep. Talk to me about your suggestions. You have some interesting ones about what you can do. The first thing that I have to admit that I do a lot is take medication for it. Is that not so great? In long and short of it is medication is probably not the best answer. Yes, medication, whether it's prescription or over-the-counter medications, they do make you sleep more. But that sleep is not as good quality, so you're not getting the restorative sleep that you really need. Okay, you suggest then a couple of things to do at nighttime that will help you get to bed. Yeah, you, you got to cut down the stress. What I tell my patients is, first thing, no, no other activities in the bedroom. Don't sit and try to figure out your finances or, or what stock you're going to buy or sell while you're sitting on the bed. No, none, none of those activities in the bedroom. And then for about 30 minutes before you go to bed, don't do anything. Sit, read, watch TV. Uh, try to let yourself almost, we call it a wind down time. I, I can imagine you're not very popular with some of your patients if you're saying no activity in the bedroom at all, but I well, guess that's another matter. That, that's another, if you, can, if you can do that, I'd say go for that. That can only help with the stress. <laughs> Anything to wear you out, right? Yes. Uh, one other thing you suggest too, which I've read before, does it really work to make a worry list? I mean, mine would be probably a mile long, but you put it on paper, is that the idea? Absolutely. I, I, you know, what people say to me is, you know, I just have thoughts racing through my brain and I can't get to sleep. What should I do? And I say, you know what, many people, when we've all done this, you wake up in the middle of the night and say, oh, geez, I have to do something in the morning. And then you're too scared to go back to sleep because you're going to forget about it. Well, before you go to bed, get a pad of paper, make a list of everything you can think of that may be issues to you. And even if you wake up in the middle of the night and you, something comes to your brain, you write it down. Then you know in the morning they're not going to be solved. But at least you'll have that list and you won't have to worry about that you forgot something important. Okay, so try it. I'm willing to try anything. Doug Lee Vernays uh, is a sleep expert. Good to see you, Doctor. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Jane.